In this video, we're going to focus on the configuration namespace in the Chart.js plugin data labels for Chart.js. And this is really important because the namespace is essential to understand here in the data labels for your chart. So let's start and explore how we can do this because there's basically three different levels of configuration. So let's go here to our Chart.js plugin data labels. And if you go here to configuration, which is just below the registration, we already, already registered this part here. We already did this here. And I will later explain about this here, what we can do even more here. So we, so we have to do some adjustments on here. However, basically there is on three levels. You have per data set. So that means that every data set you could give it an individual design per chart or globally. Most important one would probably be these two here. And if you want to be very creative, you can do with the data sets, which is quite common. Or you do it per chart, you do just in the options plugin data labels. So let me explain here. If they if we're talking about per data set, what we're really referring to is in chart JS this part here. Because let's look at it. We have the my chart, now we have the data, and then we have the data sets, and then in here we could put in here, for example, a new data label or data data labels and then in there we can do some adjustments so for now i'm going to add it add up one item here to show you an example so let's say here we have the data labels so what we do here we say data labels and in the data labels we're going to put in let's say a color let's say we're going to say we want to indicate the color green make sure there's single quotation for the string color settings we save this and if we refresh here, now every data label has adjusted its color into green. What happened if you would have two data sets here? If we have two data sets, we need to copy this and then let's add up here a new one. So we're going to add up a new data set in here. I'm going to add this up here, comma, paste, and then we can remove this. If we remove this, remove that comma here as well, doesn't matter so much, save that. But if we remove this, you see we have two data sets here. And the first data set has a data set or a data label which is colored green, while the other one is color black, as you can see here. And this is on purpose, of course, because right now we didn't have any settings here. We can say here, lab data labels, and then we can indicate here color. And this could be, for example, red. Once we do that, we save this, refresh, and now you can see we have two different colors for every data set, a specific color for the data labels. So this data set has a red data label while the other one has a green one. All right, so we have this. Another option as well is putting it here in the options. So if you're talking about options, we need to do some adjustments here because when I started out with this, I, I was very confused and now I figured out that this part here, the plugin here, basically here, this indicates to activate the plugin itself. So what we can do is we can remove this one or replace this, we cut away this, put it up here, just above the options. And this options would, was basically referring to this part here. So we can remove this options at all. And then we have the plugins, and then we have the data chart data labels. And then what we can do here now is basically in the options, plugins, data labels, as you can see here, options, plugins, data labels. So we're going to add up here now, the options with the plugins, we want to within the plugins, we want to make sure that we have something else, which is let's say the data labels data labels, and then we can say here, every color of every data set should have one specific color, which would be blue. Let's say here, labels, and then we say color, blue, same quotation, blue. Once we save this, I'm going to remove all of these data label settings here in our data set, and you will see now, this is gone, and we have now our chart adjusted to a blue color. What happens as well is the legend here suddenly disappears, which makes sense basically because we don't need a legend. However, it's in the settings here. Oh, sorry, it's already disappeared because we already set it on false. Makes makes sense. Sorry about that. So, well, because there's nothing adjusted here. If I'm if I'm correct, so you can see here nothing adjusted. It was just only the data labels here has been adjusted in color, and that's basically how we work with it. with the global settings. It's possible. Would you should you change that? I would say don't play around with the global setting unless you have a specific reason for it. I prefer to do in these levels here, chart individually and the data set individually. So you have more control because with this, it will be by default everything. All right. So this is the most important one. And in the next video, we go deeper in positioning 
the data labels on locations where you might want them. For example, on top, bottom, left and right, etc. etc. You can play around with these. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.